Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Gravity Defiers? Mark here, and I am playing Gravity Rush on PS4. Uh, I am here with Cat and uh, not not the kitty cat actually, but her name is Cat. The cat's name is Dusty or Captain Cosmos. I don't know. You can see he's got the universe within him. I don't know much about Dusty. I actually just started playing this game on PS4 uh, a little over an hour ago, but I thought I'd record a video so we can take a look at it together. I do have a little history with this game. Uh, three years ago, I did own a Vita, and I played the game on the Vita. I thought it was I thought it was fun, but at the time there were other games that came out and uh, I was distracted by those, but I'm pretty excited to check this out on PS4. Um, first things first, you can tell the game is running at a beautiful 60 frames per second and it's running natively at 1080p. It is, uh, it is much better looking than the Vita version, that is for sure. The textures look better, everything looks better, the models have been redone. Now one of the things about Cat is she is called a shifter and shifters have the ability to sort of defy gravity. If I press R1, you can see she's kind of floating. And you can use the left stick or I'm using the PS4 tilt controls, which I never use. I never use the tilt controls ever, ever, ever. But it works pretty well in this game. Not in all cases, but it's it's it works when you're trying to get to a really tight spot. But anyway, so you press R1 and she begins to float. Now the blue reticle is my landing spot. So if I hit R1 again, gravity shifts and she sort of sticks to the wall. Now if you notice her scarf is now pointing down. The scarf is there and her hair. Those are there to essentially show you where the ground is from your location because once you start hopping around, it's really easy to lose track of where the ground is because you're gonna be climbing up and down and around. So it does come in handy. Let me show you something. It's kind of it's kind of strange, but as you're playing, and when you defy gravity, you sort of suck the people around you up with you. Watch. See all these people? Oh, this poor kid. Oh man. And the dog. Let's see what happens. Yep. Okay, so you can see the <laughs> the dog. All right, the kid's fine. But this poor old lady. Let's see if they actually follow me to. Nope, they, they're sort of stuck with me. Now, you can see my scarf is pointing towards the ground again. That gives us our, uh, our ability. Well, it looks like the dog's stuck on the wall. That's, that's right. So my quest marker is pointing over there. So let's go check that out. Now, again, I am only about... 45 minutes into the game, not too far. Let me bring up the map so you guys can see the map. So the pink chess piece, that's me, and if I wiggle the controller, you can see the map is also moving. I'm heading towards this uh, quest marker. Somebody needs some help, so let's go see. Let's go see if we can do that. Hello. So the game has these uh, these really crisp visuals, and that also that also transcends into the comic book style art that they show. Man. The people in this floating city, it's called uh, Hexville, if I remember correctly. They're they're kind of rude. Like they're <laughs> like Cat is Cat is constantly trying to help people out, and they belittle her pretty often. It's kind of weird. Okay, so to get to get that gem, let's float. Oh look, the bench came with me. Let's float. Aim our reticle right at it, and I'll hit R1. If I hit R1 again, I can stop immediately in air. It's really, it's really cool. It's like this dreamlike floaty state that she does have control over, but kind of doesn't. 
it's pretty cool. I dig it. The controls, the t controls feel, uh, they feel nice. My quest marker is up there. All right, we can get that. Oh, sorry, bud. All right, so we need to go over here. So it's essentially you're just flying, but it's a, it's a little more, it's a little more chaotic. But Cat wakes up with amnesia, and this cat, Dusty the cat, is next to her, and he grants her this power. So you kind of don't know anything. I don't really know what's going on. Uh, I assume this is a big floating city. I don't know much about it. But I'm intrigued. Oh, I think we're done. No, one more. Let's see what the tutorial says. Laws of gravity. When Cat is shifting gravity, her hair and scarf will still... Okay, we already talked about that. All right. So as you can see, I'm still in the tutorial phase. Got it. And... This one... It's... Yeah, it's weird. It's like this feeling I've never really had in a video game where I'm... Not really flying, I'm falling towards... Uh, walls and other things. So L1, I use L1 and that resets gravity. So if I put her here and I hit L1, boom, she just kind of falls. And it appears you can fall from almost any distance without getting hurt. So let's go turn this in. Let's see what happens here. It's working! Yay! Is that a milk fountain? The milk fountain is working! Well done, well done. You didn't even use an insta collector to grab those gems. No, I did not. Thanks, bud. I don't know. You guys can be mean to me sometimes. Take a look at the map. Okay, so it looks like I can select down here various story missions. So gems and sky. Okay, here we go. So hold X to upgrade. Yay! Yeah, let's take the challenge. So hopefully now I can show you guys some of the combat. The combat's interesting because while while you're fighting, you can actually float and then project. You can shoot yourself. Um, at creatures and kick them. It's pretty neat. Let me see if I can show you here. So you have your standard melee attack. Like this. Right? But then I can float and then hit the kick button and she will shoot herself and hit them. And so the farther the farther away they are, the more powerful the kick. And it looks like I'm kind of comboing these guys. Let's pick up these gems. We need gems. We need to upgrade. All right, let's reset gravity. Is there more? There are more. Oh, there's a ton more. So let's see if I can aim myself. Nice. Oh, didn't get him. That's okay. I don't know if I have... There's probably more attacks that'll unlock, but for now, when I'm fighting down here, it's pretty much R2 to dodge and then kick. Which seems a little simplistic, so I'm hoping it gets a little more complicated. Let's take this guy out. Oh, I have to back part of them. Come on, come on, come on. Man, I 
controls are going to take a little bit to get used to. But yeah, you got to hit the back part of them. I see. Finished. Great. So things are starting to unlock a little bit here. Hello. Psst, hey. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but I feel like whispering in your ear. Wow, oh, these people are really mean to Cat. I mean, they're more amazed by her stench than by the fact that she's flying around uh, helping everybody out. I guess we have to find a home. A green marker down there. Let's see what this is. It's a mission, but if I move the controller around, it moves it moves the comic book uh, frame around. It doesn't really do anything, but it is it's kind of neat. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. No. A long fall. Oh, is this our home? This is our home. We're going to live in the sewers. Why not? Home sweet home. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's go see what's going on. Hey, whoa. I want that thing. Kick. Oh yeah. It feels a little strange to have dodge on a trigger. <laughs> My god. Dude, the people in this city are are Kind of awful. <laughs> hey, I saved your life. You're about to die. Oh, thanks for saving me. Wow, your outfit is awful. I'm offended by it. Why do you show? Why do you show so much skin? Generate stasis field. Okay, let's see what this is about. Hauling objects with the stasis field. Ah, oh, cool. Press the circle button to grab ne nearby objects in a stasis field. Anything trapped in the field will travel with you as you move. If you run out of energy, you'll drop whatever you're carrying. Interesting. All right. Man. I think that is going to do it for today, guys. This is uh, Gravity Rush on PS4. Uh, so far, it's a lot of fun. It's a gorgeous game. Uh, really looking forward to playing more. If you want me to, if you want me to record some more videos with Gravity Rush, let me know in the comments below. Take care. Do 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 do. I eat games. Yeah.